What's going on guys? Nick Boy here from under30wealth.com. Real estate investor by day and teacher instructor online by night. So I've got another helpful video for you today uh, walking you through analyzing real estate deals using Excel spreadsheets. So for those of you that are looking to build your own real estate investing analysis spreadsheet, uh, I'm going to show you a quick one that you can build. Uh, it's not going to be very detailed. Again, this is just a quick one if you're trying to run some numbers quickly to figure out whether a deal is worth it or not. Otherwise, I do have a pre-built one and I'll link to it below in the description. I've got another video that actually walks you through how to use it, uh, but it goes way more in depth. You know, We're talking all your property information and then it's got a section for your cash flow analysis for, as a rental and it spits out all kinds of numbers and has mortgage calculations and all that. So it goes pretty in depth. This is just gonna be a quick one I'm building from scratch to show you how simple it is. So starting off, you always wanna start off with purchase price. You know, what do you think you're gonna buy the property for? Then you're gonna want your estimated repairs. So you're gonna to need to punch an amount in there. And then let's say you've got closing costs. So when you go to buy the property, you're gonna to have to you know pay for inspections, maybe an appraisal. Uh, and then you're gonna have mortgage costs, so you can punch those in here if you're taking out a mortgage. And then, let's see, that's gonna be as far as the purchase goes, so you might have to pay the lender some fees, you might have to pay the title company some fees, estimated repairs that you're expecting to pay once you take over the property, and then whatever the purchase price is. So you can go ahead and uh, total that up. So that'll be your total investment that you expect to put into the property. So you're gonna go ahead and put a value in in each of these cells, and then you can do like the sum function if you're familiar with Excel. So that'll sum those four cells together, and that'll give you your total once you punch in. So in this case, let's say we're buying a property for $30,000. We estimate we're gonna put about 10 grand into the rehab. At closing, we're gonna pay the title company a grand and let's say that we're not taking out a loan, so we're gonna have no mortgage costs to, to run a mortgage. So it's gonna add all those together, giving us a total investment of $41,000. You can go ahead and give it the little money symbol so it turns it into dollars. All right, next you wanna analyze the cash flow. So let's say it's a rental property and we're trying to do a quick analysis of the cash flow. So type in rental income. And let's say we're getting 925 a month. And then you can do a function here where you multiply that by 12 and it's gonna give you an annual amount. So $11,100 annually if I'm collecting 925 a month. And then we can go on to expenses. So you're gonna have property taxes. You're gonna have property insurance. Let's say you have some utilities you're responsible for. Usually the tenant pays these, but depending on your lease, or if you're responsible for the water and sewer and then they cover everything else, you might have some utilities. Uh, and then annual maintenance costs. So let's say you're snow plowing or lawn mowing, you're hiring at, that out to another company. Um, and then let's say you've got property management fees. So you decide you don't wanna manage the property yourself. So that's gonna be typically your common expenses there. And then if you wanna add one in as like in a vacancy expense, so you can assume that you're gonna collect all $11,000, but maybe you think it'll be vacant one month out of the year, then you could put a vacancy expense in. So now we can go ahead and copy this function down. So it's gonna pull all the different cells to the left. So it's gonna take B12 and it's gonna multiply it by 12. So this is gonna spit out your annual amount, or we could have done it in the reverse. So if we knew the annual amount for taxes, we could have divided that by 12 to spit out a monthly amount. You could do it either way. So in this case, we'll say we're gonna pay about 600 bucks a year in property taxes. So that's gonna be about 600 bucks annually. And property insurance, we'll say is 83 bucks a month, about 996 a year. Utilities, let's say we're responsible maybe for 20 bucks a month for water and sewer or maybe trash pickup. And then maintenance, expect maybe 50 bucks a month. They need you to come, you know, do some plumbing work or 
they need some doorknobs or hinges that broke or a window breaks in the house. So maybe you've got, you know, these little maintenance expenses. Ideally, if you're going to renovate the property after purchasing it, you're going to have fixed it up all nice and new. So not a lot of stuff should be breaking down, but we still want to budget for it in our projections. And then, like I said, go ahead if you're going to hire a property manager. Typically, they charge one month's rent. So if our rental income is $9.25 a month, and we divide that up, you know, by 12 months, you're looking at maybe 76 bucks a month. Or if we want to get more technical, we'll put it at 78 bucks a month in management fees. Vacancy expense, do you know, do you think it's going to sit vacant or do you think it's going to be occupied the full year? Ideally, I would say it's going to be occupied the full year. Uh, but if you want to put in, you know, 5% or 10% vacancy, do so here. And then you're going to need to add all these together. So down here, we can make, you know, a quick summary. You can either add it in a line right here. So total expenses. And then you just, again, do a sum function. So you can sum all these cells together. So monthly is 281. And then we'll copy this cell down here. So annually, it's going to multiply your 281 by 12. So you're looking at about $3,372 a year. So lastly, you want to add in the final line, which is net income. So you'll do a function, your income minus your expense cell, and it's going to subtract those and spit out 644. So when we multiply that by 12, we're looking at about $7,728 a year in net income. And then if you want to get more technical, you can add in you know, a, a section for your mortgage payment. So if you're paying, you know, 200 bucks a month towards your mortgage, then you would slide that in there. So you're going to be paying 2400 a year. So your final line would be your after debt cash flow. So this is your final line. This is how much money comes into your bank account every year. It's going to be, you know, the 644 you're making before your mortgage. Once you subtract your mortgage, you're making about $444 a month which works out to about $5,328 a year. So once you know these numbers, you can then calculate the return on investment. So moving down the spreadsheet, we can say, all right, what's the return on investment with no mortgage and the return with a mortgage? So obviously this is going to be different because if you have a mortgage on the property, you wouldn't have spent you know all the cash up here uh, but in our case since we didn't take out a mortgage originally then our total investment was forty one thousand dollars so our return is going to be equals the annual cash flow of seven thousand seven hundred and twenty eight dollars so this is how much net income we're going to make without a mortgage and then the after debt cash flow if we did have a mortgage it's going to subtract that other $2,400 and that's how we were left with 53. But in this case with no mortgage, we're going to make $7,728. So we can divide that by our investment of $41,000 and it's going to spit out an 18% return, 19% if you round up. And then of course, if you want to do the return with a mortgage, so this is where it's going to get more technical because like I said, your total investment, uh, is going to be less than this because you're going to only invest, let's say, 20000 and then you took out a mortgage for the other 21000 So you'd have to figure out, you know, based on how much mortgage you take out, what your actual mortgage payment would be. So that's where you could put in a line for it there. So that pretty much wraps up this quick spreadsheet you could build from scratch if you, you know, want to build a quick one that you can use to analyze deals with. You have your little top section up here where you put in your purchase price, repairs, closing costs to figure out what your total investment is going to be. Then you could put in the rental property section where you, you know, got your rental income, taxes, insurance, utilities, maintenance, property management, vacancy. Add up all your expenses, subtract them from your income to get your net income. And then after that, you've got, you know, debt payments, so your after debt cash flow. And then down here, your bottom two lines could be analyzing a deal, depending on whether or not you take out a mortgage, what kind of return you're going to get. And then you can, you know, create multiple sheets where you copy everything into multiple sheets. So if you're looking at multiple properties, you could fill out the information for each of the properties and compare your returns to see which deal looks like the better deal.
So thanks for watching this quick video on building a spreadsheet from scratch to analyze real estate investments. If you found it helpful, make sure to hit the likes button, hit the thumbs up, give it a like, and hit the subscribe button so that you can follow our channel for all the weekly uploads we're going to be doing. I've got more real estate investing videos coming your way. And we also like to have a little bit of fun on the channel, uh, sharing some different daily vlogs. I do a lot of traveling, uh, jet skis, drones. I'm in the real estate industry, so I've got a drone. I fly around the city and do different cool footage shots that I add music to. So if you want to see, you know, some vlogs, some daily life of what I'm doing, I actually show you, you know, some of my deals I'm actually doing. I walk you through the properties, showing you before and after footage of what things looked like before renovating. So make sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to, you know, follow my journey building my wealth through real estate investing. I've already done two six-figure real estate investing deals and I'm only 22. Uh, so you've got a lot that I can share from experience on how to do these bigger deals that have bigger uh, profit potential. So thanks for watching. Be sure to you know check out the link below for that spreadsheet that I mentioned that I've already built. And you can download it and begin using it or you can build your own from scratch. Thank you.